And then Shuffle. He will proceed to go over here and into the workshop area. Remember not to damage the shop, or Daredevil will kill us. I'm aware. Uh, Maybe we're like already dead and this is just like hell. I hope not. Anyway. So, yeah. Brandon and. Did you get and? cut off, Brandon and? I think it's one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, do you say anything? You got cut off. Oh, Brandon and Lante will be busy for a while. What will you guys be doing in the meantime? I will be pouring some wine and reading a book. I want to learn. I want to learn how to brew some good tea. Just I'll come back to that in a little bit. Uh, Jen, Kara, what are you to be doing in the meantime? Can do some more of that chess game. We can use the short bow more often. And uh, did we decide on what we're what game? I think he did the cutout thing again. I just heard chess and then I got kicked out. <laughs> no chess for you, I guess. <laughs> you two will be facing off in a battle of wits and ducks. Brandon. Monte mm-hmm. settles next to the table, sits on a stool, and turns to face you. So, um, have you tried any kind of enchanting before? No, um, honestly, I've not actually had my abilities for that long. I barely understand them, to be quite honest. Okay, dokie. Well, what I can tell about you, you have quite a bit of, well, latent magic within you. Your body seems to generate more than it can actually handle. Kind of like an overcharged battery. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely how it feels a lot of the time. You should be quite good for creating items, because you'll be able to push out a lot of that extra magic, and it should be able to be contained within other items, and you should have a very easy process of it because of that. Right, and, um, yeah, that would obviously be very powerful for multiple reasons. Let's go a little bit of magic theory. For the next two hours, he will discuss with you basic ideas for how magic seems to work. Basically, teach you some of the fundamental understanding of magic. He will pull out an acorn, a sheet of paper, and a piece of chore. And on the paper, he will draw out a circle diagram. This is full of a series of different lines, dots, and there are three separate rings in which he places the acorn in the center of it. So, the process of enchanting, there are a few different ways of doing it. This is, well, a direct example. Uh, When you're trying to visualize inputting magic into something, you have to visualize the patterns. This is a template for a fairly simple enchantment. Well, it's somewhat random based on what no, you, effectively. Mm. But I want you to try putting your hand on the parchment and see if you can trace the lines of that I've made here with mana above them instead. Right. Okay. Well, it goes nothing. Roll me arcana. That one, that one, that one. Oh. 19. Okay, okay. Taking in the lessons that you've previously been uh, taught, you are able to quite quickly lay out threads of mana in the air uh, just above the parchments and the patterns showed. You can see you doing this, it takes you about 20 minutes to lay out the pattern. At which point, the circles start to twirl around and the acorn in the center starts to levitate slightly. And as it does so, the circles then start to close inwards on it and settle into the acorn, which glows slightly and then it drops to the parchment. Um, was that right? Lante will pick up the acorn, looking it over for a second. Yeah, uh, that's interesting. Uh, what, what happened? Did it, was the... Did it work as intended? Lante will do it underhand, uh, throw it at you. It just arches through the earth slowly, hit you on the shoulder. Oh! Oh! It feels like your arm falls off. Ha ha! That, that's heavier than I thought it would be. It feels as if your flesh is torn and your bone has been severed. Oh! Oh! Ha ha ha! It's fine, though. After a few seconds, Wait. the feeling passes. No what? hurts, no damage. What? What was that? That, that was painful? It to be a false damage enchantment. Ah, all right. It picks up the acorn and then puts it into your hand. It's fine. You now have an enchanted acorn. When you hit something with it, it feels as though they've taken critical damage where you hit them, but they haven't. Okay. That's fairly uh, rudimentary magic. If you want to do any actual proper enchantments with some guide to them, you'll need to make yourself a a tool of sorts. He fishes around his robe and pulls out a small dagger. I enchanted this. I use this when I'm creating any kind of actual enchanting item. It's imbued with my essence, my blood. Could I create such a tool just using any old dagger? Or does that dagger have specific properties that make it better suited for that sort of work? It has specific properties to me. It has some magical properties woven into the metal. I had to create it myself as well. But as its base, did you use a regular dagger or does the dagger itself need to have something special before you do do any work to it? Needs to... It's an item that resonates with you. 
that you need to find and use to then turn into a tool. Right, I'm guessing I'll just feel magical resonance coming from something, and I'll just have like an instinct. Oh, less, yeah. At this point, you have a, a box pop up in front of you. Oh, oh, okay, right on cue. Magical beginnings. Right, okay. Brandon will tap the screen. Screen opens. Quest, magical beginnings. Description. Create one magical item. One essence of an elemental. Right. Reward. Book of magical blueprints. Okay, so essence of an elemental. Then. Uh, actually, I had a question about that too, Lante. Like, John needs an essence of a wisp for, for what he wants to do. How do you obtain the the essence of something is it something that can just be physically extracted from something when a creature dies or would you need a tool to even get the essence uh, you'll need a, a tool of some kind something that can act as a, a container <coughs> could you, anyone else hear this so is this a happen in the private room uh, it's in a uh, workshop yeah. you can probably hear all here some of the conversation quite like those stones from attention. that earth guy so what was that car we got those stones from that earth thing. Would that would that be suitable, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'd more likely need to use some kind of precious stone. I see. He rummages around and pulls out a small bag from his robe and opens it, and inside you see a myriad of different jewels. Mm. He thumbs through there are rubies, sapphires, emeralds. He pulls out an emerald. I could probably turn this into something to capture an essence with. I guess it's the second emerald. I'll do another one for uh, Jun. Might as well at least try to help you. Yeah, I mean, as as I say, Monte, any help that you can provide us is much appreciated. Now, if you don't mind, watch a master at work. With that, he pulls out his dagger, jumps off the stool, and stands drawing patterns in the air, leaving behind streaks of mana. He does this for three hours for placing an emerald into it, which points the same kind of thing happens as with the acorns. Once the first one is finished, he does it again. Again, take about another three hours placing the other emerald in, and the same thing happens again. At the end of that, he'll give you both of the emeralds. So they should be able to serve for capturing the essences that you need. Awesome. Simply once you have uh, more or less, quite recently at the very least, killed something and pressed this against them, it should take a moment to capture part of it as it's well, effectively dying. And you use this in the middle of the ritual, I will show you how to make your tool. Right, that is... that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Lance. Thank you, man. Um, another question, actually. After we use these emeralds in the ritual, can the emeralds be reused to obtain more uh, essences? Yes. They can. They right. are now magical items, but they can only hold an essence at a time. Right, okay. But they could like be... like a potion. You drink it, you select the good the vial. Yeah. Yeah, and you can just put more magical liquid in it later. Well, not exactly liquid for the sake of this metaphor, but yeah. What kind of potions do you drink? Uh, I've definitely heard of some other counts like where, where I come from. Right. My, uh, my world is a weird place. <laughs> I mean, I kind of gathered that from spending time around you all, I've got to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, and... Between you and me, Lante, we're probably quite tame compared to many of the people in our world. Yeah, as I say, it's a, it's a strange place. But um, do you think that you'll accompany us outside when we get to the next world? I will. I can't see myself really just staying locked in a way. Oh no, I wasn't suggesting you were. I was just wondering if you wanted to accompany us specifically. I wouldn't be against it. Okay, um, I'm just hoping that uh, we're going to a uh, to a better place. Yeah, me both. So, okay. Over those last six hours, were you have all continued on doing what you were doing? To whom? All three of you. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. reading my books. Yeah, I would probably say that after Brandon has that conversation with Blante, he might just excuse himself and just uh, leave him alone for a little bit. David, uh, roll me your intelligence to see how well you took on the information of that tea preparing. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. <laughs> you just don't get this. I think it's third time, third six that I'm old for this. You just don't get how they can draw the flavour out of the leaf so well. Your attempts always seem to bring a bit of bitterness and you just can't, you just don't get what you're doing wrong. You seem to be can following the instructions. Can we give it a try? 
You can't read the book. I would be willing to translate because I would get vis visibly um, frustrated. In which case, Kara, roll intelligence this. with disadvantage. Okay. Especially given Triple doesn't seem to understand them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, you got bitter leaf juice. And that's all tea is, right? Bitter leaf juice. It's not supposed to be bitter. It feels as blessed for me. Maybe we should just start reading another book. Hello. Hello. Uh, did we go out again? Hello. Actually, um, one thing Brandon will do after he uh, finishes with Lante, he'll head over to John and uh, say, Hey, John, um, do you know we, like we were talking about essences early on? You know, like for oh, your... Oh, yeah, the wisp one. Yeah. yeah, I got a quest myself, actually. I need to get the essence of an elemental to make a, a tool for enchanting stuff. That sounds really cool. So in order to get these essences, apparently we need to use, uh, Brandon will take out one of the two emeralds that Lante gave him, hand it to John. We'll need to press this one of these emeralds against a recently deceased um, creature that we want the essence for, and it'll kind of take a little bit into him. That's uh, easy. Yep. Yeah, apparently they can only hold one essence at a time, but they are reusable. Ah, oh, that's that's very helpful actually for if we ever need something like that in the future. Yeah, yeah, Lante, um, yeah, it's really kind of him to uh, prepare these for us. But um, yeah, oh, also I made uh, this thing. Brandon um, takes out the acorn. Everyone sees an acorn. Okay, you made an acorn. Okay, Kara, first of all, do not eat this. Do not eat this. Do not even look at it. Do not even think of touching it. It will. I do the not. Acorn. What say? It's just I poke the acorn. acorn. You want the acorn? Poke it. She pokes okay. it. Okay. What happens if she pokes the acorn? Your hand moves slightly. Acorn. Um, the thing is, I can't really demonstrate this without it being quite unpleasant. What are you talking about, Brandon? So, basi so basically, this acorn, when you when uh, Lante was testing it, he threw it at me, and the point of my body where it hit, I felt like it was an excruciating pain for a few seconds. Apparently, it's just an illusion, but it but the damage feels incredibly real. If you would like me to demonstrate it on one of you, I would if I can, but I'm not sure if you didn't if you'd like it. Point to watch Martinez. I grabbed the acorn. You have the acorn. I look at you. Oh no, that's I I I I meant you. Yeah. Roll me. I assume he does have any improvised weapon, I'll just make it dex roll. Mm, no, I don't have improvised. Then I just consider the simple weapon. 13? John, what's your AC? I guess, actually, name. <laughs> it's 30. <laughs> oh. Meets it, beats it. Okay, <laughs> what was you aiming? Uh, just central body. Okay, Bro. Something, so. easy to, something easy to hit. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, I'll read into that. So... <laughs> John, David pulls back his hand and throws it straight at you, a centre mass, impacting you straight in the chest, right in the middle, bouncing off. A moment later, you feel as though a sword could have been plunged straight through your chest, ripping your ribcage apart. And you collapse to the floor briefly. Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, John, are you alright? I check my hands to see if I'm bleeding. Well, I mean, I know you are, but Jesus, Dave. Wow. I'm going to be honest, I, I throw it back. This. What was that, What was that, Dave? I'm gonna be honest. I did not expect that. Well, I, I told were... I told you what it does. I thought you were being crazy. It's no, <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave. We are in a magic shop traveling between dimensions, and you have a hard time believing that an acorn can cause grievous bodily damage. Yes, the acorn is by your hand on the floor, John. I throw it. Well, well, since I'm on the floor, and if I throw it straight at him, Richard. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so. Make me a dex roll with, with advantage. Yeah, he's in conversation. He's the. He's, he's fucked! <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I have an idea where you might be aiming with that. John, quick as a lightning bolt, you grab the acorn, you launch it, it goes straight, aims true, right between David. You suddenly feel a massive pain as if something has just been torn away. Ooh, my jewels. Look, guys, could you just stop harming each other with my acorn? <laughs> it's only, it's only mentally, it's only mentally, it's only mentally. Oh. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up and put it away before 
I don't know. I mean, this is about as bad as it can get before Karma can do something with it. And lingers this time. <laughs> My coolness. Um, <laughs> I mean, I thought I was. I moved out of the way, but there was. Okay. Oh, I should take that more into consideration. Okay. That was so, a low blow for you, June. That's a low blow. So, anyway. I guess this could be useful. I mean, it was just to... It was my first enchanted item. It was just to practice uh, the process. This is what Why you... did you make this? Wow. This is what you practice with? Um, Mental no. harm? No, no. Um, the, the enchantment's random. Oh. oh. Uh, basically, Lante just um, drew a pattern on some parchment. I just traced my finger uh, and put some of my mana into it. And, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's what I did. Um, he said that generally, because of my nature and my overflowing magic, it makes me quite well suited to enchanting. So, and you like, also charge off. magic items. Well, creating magic items, apparently. But also charging existing I, magic items. I would have to ask him, but I imagine it might be in the realm of possibility. I got I got a quest um, as I was discussing it with him and. Um, it has a reward of um, like a, a book of basic magical patterns, so maybe I can see what's in that once I've completed it. I've got to get the essence of an elemental first using this um, emerald that Slante gave me. Essence of an elemental? Yes. It sounds well, but okay. I mean, we literally just... It's a shame I didn't get this before, because didn't we just fight something like that in the last world? Yeah, the, the elementals. Uh, yeah, we had the rock elementals. I still have two pebbles. Uh, you know what? Network. You know what? Considering we got rid of them fairly recently, I guess it wouldn't be. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be too much of a long shot. Random would pass the emerald against, um, well, one of the pebbles and then the other if there isn't a reaction from the first one and see if anything happens. Uh, two floating pebbles. You press your emerald against them. And they dropped to the surface they were against. If it was the windowsill, was it? Oh, that's one of the other. The emerald glows slightly. Right. Okay. Um, Brandon will go back through to the other room once he notices that, and he will quickly consult with Lante and say, Hey, Lante, I tried pressing uh, my emerald against uh, the stones from those um, earth elementals we fought. And it started to glow. Will this be enough to create that magic tool? Yeah, actually. Yeah, I mean, I know Carl was mentioning it earlier, but we just thought we'd try it, and uh, yeah. So um, you've lost your floating pebbles. Yeah, now just floating pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. In that case, um, we can do something with this. Right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any? Uh, maybe paint. No, I'm just gonna use paints now. Um, hey, what shape would you like this tool to be? Um, no. which shape? I mean, honestly, I was just thinking of something like a, a knife also, just because I'm guessing I'm going to be using it to make patterns that are similar to the one that we made for the acorn enchantment. Well, yeah, but you only need to do it into the surface, you'll be able to do it into the air eventually. Uh, do you have a forge here? Um, not as such. I mean, I think that is about the best thing we have pointing over to stove, like implement. Uh, that won't do, that won't do. Uh, I could take it like an existing item and augment it possibly. Do you have a knife that you could use? Brandon will just quickly saw through his bag to see if he's got any sorts. Uh, I've got nothing on me, but I could uh, just have a look in the shop real quick for a knife. Um, there were a bunch of daggers in the shop. Yeah, I, I'm almost certain that there would be, so Brandon will just bring one of those back. We have seven daggers, so... so yeah, Brandon will bring one of those daggers back. Could you bring me back a dagger? Marty looks it over, nods, yeah, that'll do. Okay, now, follow my instructions. Roll me our car check with advantage. Oh, well, that's not good. You spend two hours and the swell circles that you create collapse into nothing. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, start this again. This time, when I say that you cross the streams, you make sure they don't actually Yeah, connect. I I know, I know, I'm sorry. My my hand just gets jittery sometimes. I just, I'm just a bit nervous. Okay, try to imagine you are playing a game and if these parts touch, you die. Okay. No pressure. Roll of advantage again for the next two hours. <laughs> okay, 16. At this point, everybody's watching. Yes. <laughs> I'm reading my book. I'm watching. 
There are a series of circles created in the air. They each uh, turn at slightly different angles, and in the center you place the dagger. It floats there. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to place the essence stone in with the item, and it should circles should draw the essence out and into the dagger. Okay. Bad. As you place it there, the light from the emerald flows out and around the dagger, at which point the emerald drops to the floor. <clears throat> the dagger starts to shift slightly, changing its form, taking on a somewhat more stony appearance around the hilt. The iron darkening slightly, rusting slightly, but not in a way that looks degraded, simply looks visually rusted. At which point, the dagger also then drops to the floor and the circle dissipates. Um, just pick up the dagger? Uh, yeah, Brando will pick up the dagger and the, yeah, and the emerald as well. Okay, and uh, now just pop the edge of that dagger just right into your thumb. Right, uh, here goes. As you do so, uh, you feel blood get drawn out of the little wound that you make and it races across the dagger, at which point you feel a resonance with the dagger. It effectively feels like a part of you now. Now! Hunt begins. Hmm. Now I might be able to make a fairly uh, bur basic magical item if you'd like. I can uh, uh, show you how. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah, sure. Um, I know how to make. Bur, 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 bur. Can you make a magical item for yourself or for someone else? Uh, honestly, I was thinking of maybe making something for you, just you know, as a thank you for the ammo done these lessons so far. I appreciate it, but uh, nothing you'd be able to make here is going to be. I won't be able to just make myself. Easily. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I was. Uh, yeah. I, 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 after that uh, initial nervousness, uh, Brandon will think, uh, maybe I could. Uh, maybe I could try and make something for myself then. Just because it's my first item, I guess. Hmm. Clothing or item to use? Hmm. Let's go with clothing. Mm. How about a cloak of many fashions? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We can try that. Yeah, all right. Do you have a cloak? Um. I have this, um, Brandon has the Cloak of Protection, but he's going to assume that he's not going to be able to put a second enchantment on the item. I know. All right, bear me one second. Um, maybe, maybe an item might be easier. From within his robe, he pulls out a cloak. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, brilliant. It's a gnome's cloak. So it is small. <laughs> so I'll use this and we will create a magical cloak. Now, all these instructions very specifically. Uh, but only got enough general magical components to do this once. Right. Okay. So, another two hours will pass and you'll be following his instructions as you create a series of magical circles in the air. Using your dagger you find it much, much easier to actually do this. To the point where it felt like you were effectively, seriously trying to draw a portrait using the heel of your foot. By comparison. Now it feels more like a paintbrush to a canvas. Yes. After the two hours, the cloak is placed within the circles and it glows several minutes. Several items are placed in with it, which it seems to absorb, at which point it then drops and the circles dissipate. When you pick up the item, you have a cloak of many fashions. Hi, this is this is this is brilliant. Your pop-up quest complete. Right, uh... Reward. Magical blueprints. In front of you, motes of magic begin to collate into a book, which then drops to the floor in front of you. Right! Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't expecting it to manifest right there. Uh, Brandon will pick up the book. <coughs> I should have typed this up instead of just writing it physically. Uh, Where's my phone? Uh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's across two pages. I'm um, right. um, I was just about to say maybe we could cut to someone else and we can just go over the contents later. Okie dokie. So, during all this enchanting, what has everyone else been doing? Carl will be passed out asleep on the table. Oh, well, eight hours. In yeah, general, feels like it. Like that. Yeah. David would have uh, been given another try to make some tea. And if that fails, use reading the book about alchemy. Let me intelligence again. Yeah, you do it this time. Tune in next time. The next time it's texting the episode. Jesus oh. fucking. Holy <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> You forget to add the leaves. <laughs> you are so focused on this, you don't even add the leaves at this point. You're just trying to get the water perfect. You serve the water, and it's just hot water. Where are the leaves? I throw the book away. <laughs> <laughs> you just brought out the extra dimensional hat? No, not just across the room. I start reading the book about alchemy. Roll me intelligence again. This time I'm not using all 20. <laughs> using all 20. 
Uh, that's that's the problem. Apparently. Now, this makes more sense to you. You know, who needs to boil water and leaves when you can look at the complexities of alchemy? Uh, boiling water and adding other things. These instructions <laughs> are clear. This says do this for so many long, so many seconds, so many this. The other one says until it feels right. What kind of measurement is that? You make deal with your feelings, okay? And apparently yours are not in line, and that's why your tea tastes like shit. It's hot for what you give it a try then. Hmm? What you're making tea? Making the perfect tea. And I make give it a try making just tea. Without using the book, just <laughs> make proper tea. I'm assuming Jun drinks tea generally. A lot. And yeah, you don't need to roll for it, but you make some nice tea. I give I give uh, Martinez a cup. So that's uh, that's tea. It's bitter and tastes like shit. It's nice even, and sweet, even though, even though it's pretty nice, but I'm not gonna say that. So. Uh, I just uh, posted in the far away chat uh, the items that the book contains. Okay, so you have a, a cloak of many fashions, a staff of birds, calls, a staff of flowers, a bag of holding, a bag of tricks, boots of elven kind, a fish and quiver, ever smoking bottle, perfect of health, wand of web, elven chain, portable hole, ring of evasion, vicious weapon. And summon a spectral steed. And you can make any number of these items, or Brandon can. Brandon can, yes. They will each have a magical component cost to them. Um, would Brandon know what these items? Is there a description of what the items do? In yes, this there's descriptions of each of the items. Okay, just so Brandon. The only one you won't currently have a description of is summon spectral steed because that is uh, basically homebrew, mm -hmm. and that is effectively the same as the summon steed spell it has two charges which regains one per day when using both charges but well, when the last charge is used roll a 20 and if you roll a one it destroys the item it does not need to be uh taking up a oh, i forgot what blue slots are called spell slots no uh, are, are no. the attunement you mean attunement it does not need an attunement slot for the summon spectral steed you mean yes okay okay all um, these have uh, basically prices roughly attached to them, but I've not actually worked out some of the prices yet, so I will get back to you on that one. Yeah, um, you know, I won't ask this in character just because I've done a lot of talking today, but uh, component cost for these? I say, I'll get back to you on that oh, one because I know what it's all. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, right, sorry, when you said uh, item, I was wondering if there was a gold cost and components. Uh, no, no. But... Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much then. You'll have a general magical components uh, cost, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I should uh, share your wondrous items with everybody. Um, yeah, uh, Brandon will come through and show off the cloak of many fashions and but with all of the enchanting goodies he can now do. I take a step Ooh. back once he approaches me with new stuff he made. <laughs> Wait, no, no, and jump! Uh, this isn't dangerous! You say that, was... and the cloak shifts to show red, dripping material. Um, ignore that. That's just cosmetic. The cloak now is deep. You... Look at the book, what? John. Look at look at this book. It's amazing. Look at all the stuff can make. How can I look at the book when you cloak? <laughs> it's now made of teeth. Brandon is basically stuffing the book into John's face to block his vision from the cloak of teeth. Oops, sorry, you cut out then. I just said Brandon is basically stuffing the book into John's face to obstruct his vision okay. of the cloak of teeth. Can I read the stuff you actually? That's, yes, that's in the book? it is in simple, plain English. Really, something I can read. Uh, yeah, I got this as a quest award, so yeah, it's just uh, translated into into English. Cloak of many fashions. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. This is the thing that I'm wearing right now. But um, is this your fashion choice? Not judging, but uh, oh um, no, I'm not sure why it's doing that. It can change its appearance and style, but I didn't tell it to do that. I'm guessing it might be based off emotion or. Maybe the magic is still. I don't know. This is the first magic item I made. Maybe it's just got a few quirks. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, but there's a couple of things in it that could be really useful. Have you seen this uh, bag of holding? Old specs? Oh, what? No, 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 no. Um, if you look at it's like it's like an extra dimensional space. Like you can like it holds. It's like kind of the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Like it's bigger in the inside. Ah, it's Basically, what Langte has, right? Where he stores uh, all his stuff in? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's exactly like that, I think, based on the description. That would be amazing. 
to have. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these look... I've not really read the description of all of them yet, but that one in particular just caught my eye straight off. Mm. But um, I'll need components for a lot of this, so... So yeah, I'll be worth scavenging stuff if we come across it in the world, or... Uh, I don't know, but What's I mean... What's a portable? I... It's, I'm not sure. It's a hole that is portable. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to actually read all of these properly and get back to you guys, but... I mean, apart from just, you know, it being stuff useful for us, if we get some components and I make a few of these things, maybe we could even sell them for funds if we're struggling. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Actually, wow, that, we, have, we have a lot of business opportunity. Yeah. We have magical items and flowers. And I mean, I mean, apart from anything else, it's just stuff that's going to help us survive. We can open a little shop like Myra Bellum. I mean... Do you make ducks that make sounds? Why would you ever want to do that? I don't have a pink one, and if I have a pink one, it's kind of... Design complex. for the staff of bird calls is a staff with a duck on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking of actually running a shop, this book about alchemy shows me at least the basics on how to create potions. So think about health potions and other stuff. So you understand alchemy and potion making, but not making tea. Listen, I, by the way, way, I also give Brandon a cup of tea, <laughs> so he can taste what actual tea is like, Mr. Martinez. Oh, oh, thanks, John. You're welcome. Um, oh, and you make great food. The, so the alchemy your tea is you, terrible. You know how to make common and uncommon potions. Any common and uncommon? Yes, he says. In yeah, terms. So of ingredients, it will effectively use a generic magical component cost. Yeah. So basically, we could also, at least I could also create potions to uh, sell in the shop. Uh, oh. Yeah. More potions of healing, common? Uh, yeah. You have different degrees in yeah. healing potions. You should also have the uncommon greater healing, which is greater. Everyone saw uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I think okay. it might. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you just got Did anyone say anything? Uh, I'm not sure, I just went silent for a second, so... Okay. Uh, Brandon's just going to say, we really... If we get the opportunity in the next world, maybe we just need to... I don't know, because to actually take advantage of this stuff, like your alchemy, the, the plants and my enchanting, we kind of need to get our hands on components, so it's just to be hoped hey, that yeah. we get to a place that actually has some form of Life. commerce. Yes, basically. Yeah. Well, given June's quest to, for the greenhouse, um, I think that would also help us with being more self-sustainable. Because if mm -hmm. we can have, find at least four alchemy, it's mostly natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at least some of them. Uh, what, I, could... what I do wonder is, my quest said I need an essence of a wisp. Mm -hmm. that's, and I think that's what Lante said about attaching it to the shop. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. We still maybe need to build the actual greenhouse or something? Yes, which is going to... Well, it's probably going to cost some funds anyway. I mean, I'm guessing... We'll, maybe we just concern ourselves with getting the thing for the wisp first and then just consulting Lante after that. Like, whether it's something where we need to physically build something onto the structure or whether... Now we can discuss that right now with Lante. Uh, since we've had time, yeah, I guess so. Because if it is something that needs to be built, we could hire people to build it. What's Kara doing, by the way? She's asleep, under the table. Oh, on the table? Uh, yeah. Splayed out. Yes, very ladylike. Are we, are we sure she's doing well? She hasn't been sick lately, that's good. I mean, she's not had a supply of rat kebabs, so I'd say that's a lot to do with it. As you say oh, that, Kara, oh. your ears twitch a bit. Mention a rat kebab. Kebab? What? No, no kebab. No kebab. Look, look at this. Uh, Brandon made new stuff. Cool. What do you make? Um, I've learned enchanting. I've got an acorn that creates the sensory illusion of incredible pain and this cloak that can turn into cloaks. How do you demonstrate it? I, don't... I guess uh, Brandon will throw the acorn at <laughs> the car. Wow. That's <laughs> um, yeah. we we were talking about a roll cloak. Dex, yes, that was. <laughs> <laughs> roll oh, your no. Dex to advantage. Giving Kara's lying down. <laughs> what can I say, Brandon's baby feeling a bit vindictive against the. She just woke up. What's her AC? I think, I, 
think your AC is probably over 12. Oh, deck save. Yeah. I'll do it against your AC specifically, but I'm pretty sure it's over 12, isn't it? I'm yeah, almost so. certain it's over 12. It is. Yeah. Okay. The Acorn bounces off the table near you and rolls away. I'm very back to him. Let's make straight decks run. Yeah, but if this ends up hitting Brandon, it's actually karma, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, no, 13. so where did you aim? Just generally at him, no more specific. It will hit you on the leg. Oh, it hits your leg. Oh, 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 feels like your leg's torn off. Oh, 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 oh no. And then you're fine. Okay. I will try for the acorn car again. <laughs> Straight roll this time. <laughs> everyone is going to everyone is going to get hit by this acorn, I imagine. Okay, seven. <laughs> you let go of it mid throw and it just hits the ceiling instead. Bounces down. Uh, I throw the acorn into the void. No, don't but into the void. Brandon no, will shit. Okay, Brandon will scroll for the acorn if he sees Kara trying to throw it away. Well uh, so you managed to grab it off him. You have your acorn safe. You're precious. Okay, okay. No no touching my acorn, Kara. It's mine. It's don't wait for to freeze it. No touch his nut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't phrase it that way. It sounded like that way. <laughs> Wasn't using well, those come to up. think of it, Brendan, that mm -hmm. acorn has hit the ceiling and the floor quite a few times. You think uh, definitely oh. is Oh. I think he might feel that, but he's busy traveling. Well, maybe it's not a wise idea to use the acorn anymore. Maybe. Well, I mean, not on each other. Uh, even if it hits. Maybe a not. Oh. I get the voice <laughs> behind you, David. Yeah, yeah. It's cool he did an enchanting thingy though, the Flynn. Yes, but be careful please. Don't blow anything up inside of me. I mean, technically nothing, technically it didn't hurt or cause any damage I should say. Yes, but you could have. But anyway, with that, he rises out of the floor. I assume since you're here that we have arrived? We will be arriving shortly, yes. Okay. Now, this time you will not be retrieving an item for me. I'll instead be keeping an old promise. Ah, mm. yes. Well, Brendan, your room is uh, going to be free. Once we oh. arrive, I want you to find the remaining family of the person who is currently residing within the room. How long ago? Help to bury them. How long ago did she die? Um, approximately 60 years ago. Oh, wow. She has her remaining family. She may, she may not. I still sense some kind of tie there, so she most likely does. What's her this point, name? A pop-up appears in front of you all. Go to the right page. Last. From whence we came. Description. Put Julie Shear to rest with the last of her family. Reward? 400 XP. Mm. Accept, decline. I personally accept. Accept. I accept, yeah. And with that, you have the quest. Alright. Well, thanks for the heads up, uh, definitely. Her name was Julie Shear, and she was a teethling. When we arrive, we'll be arriving at least where she used to live. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, we're being off again. Yeah, what was the last thing I said? I'm um, just saying oh, that we're going to be arriving. Oh. I thought I heard you say that we're going to be arriving near to where they left. <clears throat> uh, yes, we're going to be arriving near to where they uh, They may not be there anymore. It has been some time, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. When you find the remainder of the family, uh, please bring them back here. I do wish to have a discussion with them. you have any questions? Uh, what kind of place is this world we're going to arrive in? Oh, uh, it's a mining town. Do they have things like coffee? I wouldn't know. But it, uh, you would say it's safe, right? Not like the previous place? Yeah, it was last time I was there. That was 60 years ago, uh, at the very least. How much How much do you know about the place you're going through? Uh, bits and pieces. I mostly just uh, pick up on the tethers of magic to items I seek, normally. But it doesn't give you wide insights into the place? Not normally, no. Unless I have some form of item that allows me to get some form of insight ahead of time, which I do not currently possess. Such an item be? Oh, I don't know, maybe some kind of trans-dimensional looking glass? Dimensional looking glass. Is that something you would be able to make, Brendan? You can make a portable hole? Um, I would have to read the descriptions more accurately, but I'm not sure if that's exactly... I don't think that's the same thing, John. By the way, Devlin, since you are here anyway... Yes? From the last place we visited, we bought some books that may, you might be interested in. Um, I did see you perusing several books. Uh, I would be interested in perusing those volumes as well. They are on the shelf, so feel free. One about these is very difficult to read, according to Mr. Martinez. 
and Did ignoring it. Your blunders. It is quite genuinely disappointing that you do not know the art of tea making. You do? But of course. Show it. Perhaps sometime I shall. I do not particularly fancy having a tea ceremony right this moment. Are you a fancy person before this? Oh yes, but of course. I had wealth, I had power, I had everything that I could seek. But anyway, that is neither here nor there, and that was some time ago. We'll be arriving within an hour. No right. Do you have any preparations to make, or naps to take? Looks towards Kara. And please do so now. I do have one preparation to make. I will go back up to bed and drag my covers out of the hallway. You drag your covers back inside, closing the door, and wrap yourself in a... Right, so what did your preparations make, David? I will grab the book about making tea and go mm -hmm. to my room, drink the potion of advantage that I have. Try again. Okay. We're all of advantage your intelligence. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it, bro. You can just ask for help. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, this book is making less and less sense as you try. You can get the finer points of creating a health potion that physically heals you. You can help someone breathe underwater. You understand exactly how to brew that. But brewing leaves is beyond you. It makes no sense. Whoever, whoever wrote this book wrote something else. Was the book written by Granny Sheila? No, not by her. She, she gifted this, but... She, she did. Uh, it makes sense if she wrote it with her way of speech. <laughs> Why you can't read it? <laughs> Maybe you need to be high to make it. Can we can we hear sounds of frustration coming from his yes. room? Yes, I can check up on him. Effectively, him. quiet shouting at it. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Martinez, are you are doing you all right? right? Are you doing all right, Dave? I'm doing. I'm 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 doing fine. Thank you for asking. I'm doing perfectly fine. Okay, good. How if you're losing it, this building again. Not. Please don't. If you're losing it, come talk to us. Communication is important. Let go of those feelings. I uh, love things to use it on and still fail. <laughs> is, are you reading in there, Mr. Martinez? No. Can I do an inside <laughs> check? Yes, you can. Against a deception check. Do you have anything on deception? Jesus, plus 21. <laughs> no, I, I may be stupid, but I am wise. <laughs> So, you can definitely pick up that, yeah, he's lying, and you're honestly questioning whether he might actually be reading smut. <laughs> this is one of those books you got from Denifil. I didn't get any books from Denifil. You're not reading anything weird in there, with the door locked? I mean, weird it is, but for different reasons. I was curious, you know, that was actually a lizard. <laughs> See you later. Uh, Alright. See you. Later. Wait, do, are you gonna make it next? Okay, he's gone. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to join next week. So that I like it. Okay. So is it about tea? All right. Oh. Silence is deafening. <laughs> did, did you come all the way here talk about tea, June? No, I came here because it sounded like you were struggling. I, I could hear I it. I am doing downstairs. perfectly fine. I am. If you say so. Perfectly. Wait, no. Wait a second. I run into my room to grab my <laughs> diary. <laughs> I wait. I have waited so long to use this against you. What? That's my diary. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use not against me? Yeah, wait. Uh, where is it? Uh, Utli Zenia hears this. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Wait a second. Better to be honest and not lie to yourself. Yeah, something about it. I don't know. I, I can't read my own notes. But you have to be honest. You told me that. You know? Spiritual Nirvana stuff about visiting Denival. Don't lie. I didn't have a meditation session with Denifer. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, it, 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 it's just a reference to that. But I'm just saying you shouldn't lie to me or yourself. That's what you told me. Yeah? Face it head on. Don't ignore what you can do. I have no idea what you're talking about, first of all. Uh, second of all, with the way how your mind works, it wouldn't surprise me if you wrote a book. The book you're reading right now? I mean, right now I'm not reading any book. Uh, uh, you know, we're here for you. Point you here from downstairs, Lance just saying, You're all so weird. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's fair. Wouldn't you say, Lante, that being normal is boring? Yeah, no, you're not wrong there. You're quite unique as well. You're the first gnome I know. That's a low bar. I can hear okay. 
I have never met somebody that's been alive for so long, froze itself, found their world, world like that, you know, you're very, I wouldn't say weird, but it's quite unusual. So you fit right in, I guess. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna get exercise, made fun of. How could to the club? I hold up my hand for a high five. <laughs> He holds up a middle finger and holds up his hand. I high five. Put my hand a little lower. He waits for you to go, go to his. Yeah, I understand that. I give him a low five. Hundred. You feel your what? hand get stuck to his. High five hundred. What? Give me a con save. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I think we're really losing the fight at this point. Oh, actually, let me double check his sheets. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you'll feel your hand get stuck in place to his for a second, but then you pull your hand back. Damn it. Long thing. Why is your hand sticky? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I walk in the washing room, <laughs> sobbing basically, <laughs> not knowing why his hand was sticky. <laughs> We'll end session on that note. On the question of why is Lante's hand so stick? Okay. Well, okay, that was uh, that was an interesting session. Uh, some productive stuff happened, but also just uh, some shenanigans, which I don't think we've really had for a while. So uh, good to have that again. Anyway, uh, we'll be back with this uh, hopefully next time this week. Next time this week. This time next week. Wow, words hard. So we'll see you all then. Goodbye. Bye.